Separating solids from liquids in the synthetic organic laboratory can be achieved by filtering with the Hirsch funnel. Hirsch funnels take advantage of suction created by a vacuum line in order to pull liquid material through filter paper. This is an especially useful technique to use when performing recrystallizations, as solid material can be captured in the funnel and saved. This laboratory technique is also useful when drying a liquid material with anhydrous salts, as Hirsch filtration can remove all drying salts and capture your liquid material in a filter flask. The materials you will need to filter with the Hirsch funnel include a vacuum hose, a filter flask, a Hirsch funnel, filter paper, your sample, a small amount of solvent, and a pair of scissors. Attach one end of your hose to the vacuum line and the other to your filter flask. If your filter paper isn't pre-cut to the appropriate size for your funnel, cut your filter paper so that all of the holes in your funnel are covered, but the edges of the filter paper are not touching the inside edges of the funnel. Turn on the vacuum line. Pour a small amount of solvent into the funnel to set the filter paper into place. Pour your sample into the funnel slowly so that the filter paper doesn't shift. Rinse your sample flask with a small amount of solvent to ensure that all of your material is transferred into the filter. Turn the vacuum line off and remove your filter flask from the vacuum line. 